taking over black supremacy. And with this particular video, I have to ask, do Kevin Gates and black Muslims really know the will of Allah? And first of all, let me tell you about what motivated me to speak on this particular topic. I was watching an Instagram video of Kevin Gates talking about he surrenders to the will of Allah. And he was talking about in regards to his court case, him getting locked up in Chicago for kicking the black woman for inappropriately touching him or grabbing him during a concert, leading to him spending a significant amount of time in jail. He says that's no big deal to him because he surrenders to the will of Allah. Now I had to ask this because I grew up around a lot of black Muslims and I actually was on the path to Sunni Islam myself at a certain point in my life. And of course I studied Sufi Islam as well. I have to ask, as a black nationalist, as a black supremacist, as a black radical, as a black revolutionary, and as a black identity extremist. I have to ask, do Kevin Gates and black Muslims today in 2018, do they really know the will of Allah? Because I really don't believe so from what I am actually seeing. The will of Allah, according to the written word and the Quran, you are supposed to fight against oppression. That it is your duty to fight against oppression, to help the oppressed, to fight against those that fight against you. Islam is a religion of justice. In the more science symbol of America, we learned love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Justice is definitely on the list and definitely important. The crescent moon being the sword. Islam is a religion of justice, period. I don't care what denomination, that's a fact. So when he says he surrendered to the will of Allah, a lot of them say they're surrendering to the will of Allah, but they're happily surrendering to the will of the oppressor in America because they have put up more surrender to the oppressor than they have put up more of a fight against oppression they're in jail at peace they're laying themselves down to the enemy talking about they surrender to the will of Allah that is the will of Allah that they be unjustly incarcerated if they were in the right that's the will of Allah that they sit in jail that they own people sit in jail behind death row For stuff that they didn't even do. That we fill up the prison industrial complex. That is. Blacks is predominant. Jails is predominantly. Composed of black people. Is that the will of Allah? Or is that the will of a bitch made nigga? You look the white man in the face. Who tells you. Sit down. Nigger. Get in the car. Shut up. The hell with your rights. It's my way or no way. We make up the laws. We determine what you're going to do, boy. And you say, I surrender to the will of Allah. And you're surrendering to the will of Allah in this country. You're surrendering to Allah in the wilderness of North America. Looks like you surrendering to white supremacy. 
surrendering to the will of your oppressor without even a fight. The enemy throws time at you. The enemy kidnaps you, hold you hostage behind enemy lines. And you say, I surrender to the will of Allah. And that's that. It was the will of Allah that I go to jail and that I be under oppression. It's the will of Allah that, black, that as black people we be oppressed in this country. This is a very peculiar type of Islam that we are practicing in this country. And I'm not doing this video to speak against Islam. Because I think Islam can be a very revolutionary religion for black people when practiced. I think it's some very re revolutionary elements to Islam because... Is taking you outside of white supremacy and white sovereignty. Because now you have another God other than the one that was given to you by your slave master and your oppressor. So you're deriving your authority from a different place than your slave master. Giving you some separation and some identity outside of his reality. So there's some benefit to Islam, unarguably and unquestionably, which is why most of our revolutionaries have been Muslims. From Malcolm to Jamil al Amin, H. Rab Brown, Khalid Abdul Muhammad, it's a reason that they are Muslims, because they see the revolutionary elements of Islam. But to this day, we are not practicing Islam as revolutionaries and as radicals. We're not practicing Islam with the same type of militancy and dignity that we did back in the 60s. Now, we, su we surrender to the will of our oppressor and we surrender to the will of Arab opportunism and the Islam that we are practicing today is a good Negro Islam it's a good old boy Islam an Islam that will tell you to, be, to surrender to your slave master under the auspices of surrendering to the will of Allah how do you determine the will of Allah how do you decipher the will of Allah if your enemy is taking you into captivity, at what moment in time, at what second, and how do you distinguish if you going along with that is surrendering to the will of Allah? But let me show you the flip side of that because I was sickening by what I was hearing from Kevin Gates. He don't have no problem going to jail, but he's surrendering to the will of Allah. But when that black woman grabbed him inappropriately, he did not kick her and say, well, <clears throat> she grabbed me. That's what it was. I surrendered to the will of Allah. He kicked her back. He kicked her in the chest. When he wanted to go from poverty to riches, he didn't just accept poverty and say, well, I guess it's the will of Allah that I'll be poor. He put his energy in to, to, to become a businessman and to make business move and to grind and do what it was ever was necessary to change his financial situation to become a wealthy man who could travel the world, who could go to places like Morocco, who could travel the world. He wanted that type of money and type of wealth to just go to Dubai and chill out. He didn't say it was the will of Allah that I be broke. When he was broke, he didn't say, well, I surrender to the will of Allah. He put the, his will, the will of Kevin Gates, he willed himself into a different predicament, into a different financial situation. He used his will to determine his destiny. But when it comes to justice from this white man, he surrendered to the will of Allah. He doesn't have the same drive that he had to get money, to get bread, to get justice for black people, or even to guarantee justice for himself. It's, 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 up, to the, it's up to Allah when it comes to that. 
I mean, I got I got to speak on this. And now that he's out, he says back to the money. When if he knew the will of Allah, the will of Allah is written in the Quran. You can find the will of Allah if you're looking for it. And the Quran speaks against materialism and chasing money and trying to chase the worldly things of the duna to try to chase the achievements of this world. The Quran says that that will lead your ass to hell chasing worldly things, chasing money and can't get enough. Speaks against greed. Never being able to be satisfied in the material world. Getting distracted from the Sunnah or the Deen. It speaks against that. So the will of Allah is that you not be that materialistic. That you not be just all about money all the goddamn time. And caught up in the pursuits of money to the point that you put the acquisition of money above fighting against oppression to the point that you surrender to oppression without a fight because that is the will of Allah but you are on the pursuit of financial gain and you use your will for that as though that's somehow right as though, as, as money, has, as though money has something to do with divinity or money has something to do with What's going to happen on Malachi on Medim on the Day of Judgment? Or that money will get you into Jannah, into Paradise. You chase money. And you have great will when it comes to that. It's about your will because you're going to make it happen. You don't pray to Allah for wealth. You get up every day and you hustle hard. You even get out your old phone that you used when you was hustling your flip phone. And you get it back out to motivate your will to get that paper by any means necessary. But when it comes to justice, when it comes to standing before your oppressor, you willingly comply and surrender without even a squeak, without even a protest, without even a hunger fast, without any resistance. You surrender to the will of Allah makes you a good prisoner, makes you a good Negro in this country. The Muslims in America, the black Muslims in this America, see bowing now with white to white supremacy as being consistent with surrendering to the will of Allah, making, making them no different from Christians. What they saying is I surrender to that which appears to be stronger than me. I surrender to that which I feel weak in the presence of. I surrender to that which I feel possesses more power than me, more might than me. So whatever you think is stronger than you is your God, is your Allah. And if that's the white man who got the gun and who got the soldiers, you won't buck against that. Because that's your Allah. Because you just told us, I surrender to the will of Allah. We become very weak in this country, man. Black, black people. Under every religion and under every denomination. Where we would even take a revolutionary religion and find a context that would make us compliant that will make us acceptable of our oppression I mean it was deep you think the will of Allah has anything to do with black people being oppressed